Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This is, as you can see, the third episode about relative pronouns, okay? About relative pronouns, all right? Now, in the previous episode, we talked about the difference between who and whom, and we said that who is always as a subject and followed by verb, and whom is always as an object and followed by subject, okay? Followed by subject. So this is what we saw in the previous episode. In this episode, we are going to see the difference between where and which, okay? Where and which. In the first episode, we said that where is always for place, is always for place. And which is very simply for either thing, okay? Or it can be for object or for animals. So we can say either which or that, okay? We can say which or that, okay? okay now let's look at a very simple example and see when we use where and when we use which, okay? Now let's see. The house I leave. Number two, the house is big, okay? The house is big. All right, here, as you can see, the first one, okay, the first one, the noun is very simply the house. And number two, it is the house. So both of them, this is the noun and this is noun. But as you can see, the house is a place. And in number two, the house is also a place. But which one we use where, which one we use which, okay? So the house in general, in general, the house is a place, okay? Is a place, all right? So the house is a place. But sometimes we can talk about it as an object or a thing, okay? As an object or a thing, okay? Now, what can we say in number one? The house where I live, okay? The house where I live. So in this case, we are talking about the house as a place, okay? As a place, okay? In number two, the house which, the house which is big, okay? The house which is big. Now here, the house, we are talking about it as a thing or as an object, okay? And so either we can say which or we can also say that, okay? The house that is big or the house which is big, okay? Now here, as you can see, where it has to do with something that we do, okay? We do in the in the place, okay? So it has to do with doing. I live, okay? So we live inside the house, okay? Inside. Something that we do in sign, okay? This is very essential, okay? So where live, we live inside the house, okay? Inside the house. And we also, when we say where I live, where I work, where I play, etc. So this is something to do with doing, okay? I do something, okay? Doing something, okay? So here, the house where I live, I live inside the house. What I do in the house, I live in the house, okay? Doing or just remember these key words, okay? okay? Doing or inside, okay? All right, so this is for number one. The house is, the house which is big. When you say the house is big, very simply, it is something to do with outside, okay? Outside. Here, you are talking about this place, this place from outside, okay? From outside. So you are talking about the house as an object or as a thing. When you say the house is big, here you are, describing okay you describe okay for describing okay the house is big so you describe okay so which that which or that with a place with a certain place is always when we talk about from outside okay when we describe it okay when we de describe it so when we describe it we refer to it as a thing or as an object now let's try to take some examples so as we can easily understand this okay all right let's start with number one the school I study, okay, the school I study. So here, as you can see, the school is very simply the noun, okay? The school, okay, the school I study. Now, I study is something that we we do, okay? is related to doing, okay? It's something that we do inside, okay? Something we do, doing inside the school, okay? Inside the school, okay? So very simply, what I'm going to say, the school where, okay, the school where, I study. So here, the school is very simply a place, okay? Very simply because here we are talking about doing something, okay? Doing something, okay? What is this? Is very simply studying, okay? It's very simply studying, okay? Now, let's take number two. The school is far, okay? The school 
is far, okay? Is far. So here, what are we doing? We are describing, okay? Describing this, okay? The noun. The noun is the school, okay? The school. So as long as here we are describing, describing from outside, okay? From outside, very simply we say, okay? Which, okay? The school which is far, or we can also say the school that, okay? We can say the school that is far, okay? The school that is far, okay? Now, let me move to number three. The market, I buy vegetables, okay? The market, I buy vegetables. So, the noun is very simply the market, okay? Is the noun, okay? Is the noun. I buy vegetables, I buy vegetables. So, this is very simply related to, okay, doing. So, we do something in the market or supermarket, buying, okay? Doing something, okay? So, buying vegetables is very simply doing something in the in this place. So very simply, what can we say? The market where? Okay, the market where? So here we are referring to, okay, we are describing the market as a place, okay, as a place where we do something, okay, where we do something, okay? Number four, the hotel I like, okay, the hotel I like. Now here, as you can see, this is the hotel, it is a noun, and I like, okay, you can say, for example, that the hotel which, okay, that's the hotel which I like, okay, which I like. Are you talking about something that you do inside the hotel, for example, working or leaving or something? No, so you are just describing the hotel, okay, talking about the hotel from outside, that's the hotel which I like, okay. Now, let's take number five, the company, and the company is the, very simply, is the noun, okay, is the noun, the company, he, works okay the company he works so working okay working is something like doing okay is something we do and therefore here we are talking about the company as a place okay as a place so the company where okay the company where okay why where very simply because here we are talking about something we do okay something we do in the company i work okay in the company okay the company where he works okay so working is something that we do something we do inside the company okay, so this is very essential to remember okay for those who confuse where and which when we have okay places okay when we have places all right so as you can see all these are okay places okay all these are places but sometimes we can either use where or which okay now where as you can see when we talk about something that we do in the place okay we do in the place okay but which is very simply when we describe okay when we just okay describe that place talking about it from outside okay from outside so this is the general summary that you can remember okay so places we can use either as i said okay where or which okay we can use which okay so for where okay for where when we are talking about something we do and i say doing okay doing inside the place but which is always when we describe okay for describing okay for describing so this is something that you should never forget to differentiate between which and where when it comes to places okay when it comes to places okay all right so this is all for today's episode i hope you found this very easy very simple if you have any question or suggestion don't hesitate to let me know in a comment okay okay so so far okay we have talked about relative pronouns and relative pronouns are just the beginning okay just the beginning for our next lesson which is the relative clauses okay relative clauses okay so see you in other lesson relative clauses have a good time and goodbye